Hi! In this video I want to talk about signals in Linux and how to handle them in the programming language C. But first let's talk about what signals are in general. So signals can be used for interprocess communications and for software interrupts. And a signal is just a message which can be sent by the operating system or another process to a specific process. But let me demonstrate this to you. So I will open htop here, which is my task manager, and I will search for the htop process which I have started here. And now, if I press F9, I can send a signal. And now here on the left side, we see a list of all the available signals. So every signal has a number and a name assigned to it. For example, signal 15 is sig term, which will terminate the process. Sig, um, number 14 is sig alarm, which is an alarm signal. Um, 9 is quite important too, this is sig kill. And so we can see every signal has a meaning attached to it. And by default, every program reacts in the same way to a signal. So for example, if I now send sig term, um, HTOP will be terminated when receiving the signal. But a cool thing is we can change the behavior for the signal with custom signal handlers. And I want to show you how to do this with a small C application. And I have to mention one more thing. You can't override all signals. Two always has to have to stay the same. So SIG stop and SIG, um, SIG kill can't be overwritten because the operating system always wants to have an opportunity to kill and stop a specific um, process. Okay, I will go into my programming folder and now let's start coding. So I'll call my program signal test. And the first thing I will do is I will include the um, standard headers. So standard lib, Unix standard. And this is the important um, include here. It's signal.h. This will be needed for the signal handling. So and now I define the signal numbers I want to um, overload or change and I want to change signal 44 and signal 45 here. Okay. The next thing I need is a signal handler and a signal handler is a void function. Um, you can choose any name you want. I will call it signal handler here. And one important thing, it always must have one argument, which is um, the signal number. And all I will do in the signal handler is I will just print a receive signal with number, and I will print out the number here. Okay, now let's go to our main function here. The first thing I will do is I will print out our current process ID because we have already seen an htop. We need the process ID because we need to know where to send the, um, the signal. So let me just print out the process ID with the function get pit get process ID. I will get my current process ID. And now um, overload signal handlers. For the overloading, I need um, the signal function. And the signal function needs two arguments. The first argument is, is the number of the signal we want to overload. So I start with 44. And the next argument is the handler, which should be called when the signal occurs, which is signal handler in my case here. And of course, I will do this for signal 45 too. Um, and now all I will do is I will start an endless loop. I will print out waiting for signals. And I will start an endless loop. And I will just sleep a second in this endless loop here. Yeah, and that's it. That's my program here. 
So let's try to compile and run it. Okay, I forgot a comma here. Sorry for this. But now it should compile. Okay, so let's start it. So we see our signal test application has the process ID 29,280. And now I will open my second window here and make the font a little bit bigger. And to send a signal, we can use the kill command. The kill command needs the following arguments. First argument is the signal we want to send, which is 44 in this case. And the next argument is the process ID to which we want to send signal 44. So let's send it to process ID 2000, uh, 29,280, which is our signal test application. And now we got into our signal handler and it prints out when it received a signal with number 44. Let's do the same for 45. Yeah, it just works. Cool. And if we don't use this, um, this n argument, which will, um, which will yeah, specify the number of the signal we want to send, we can use the s um, option here too and Use, for example, sig term here if we want to send signal 50, which is signal termination. Or if we just just um, type kill in the process ID, it will send sig term 2 and it will kill the process. Okay, cool. So this was just a brief introduction in how to use signals in Linux. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.